Frugal Bougie Mama Productions. Subscribe! Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Miss Frugal Bougie Mama, your favorite little yellow diamond, back with a penny pincher video. Today's video is going to be on a DIY electronic cleaner. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. If you are new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all things flawed, frugal, and fabulous. And if you all do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. As you can see, I have some electronics here that are in desperate need of some TLC. So, three things here. I have robbing alcohol. I have some purified water. And I have a spray bottle. Now it's important to use purified or distilled water in this mixture because you don't want the minerals and all those things that are found in tap water on your electronics. These are This is just one of several things I do to save money. A commercial electronic cleaner goes for about 13 bucks or so last time I checked. This mixture cost me just a, around three dollars or so in the last several months. All right, now the amount of water you're going to use is going to be based off the percentage of the rubbing alcohol. I'll put uh, more information in the description box below, and I'll have something displayed here shortly. Now, um, I am going to use 50% uh, here because that's all that the Dollar Tree had, and based off of that, I'm going to do uh, a like one and one fourth to one ratio rubbing alcohol to water mixture. So I got that and then I am going to pour the rubbing alcohol. I said one and one pour. So 1.25 to 1 ratio in this mixture. Now if it was 70% it would be like a 1 to 1 ratio rubbing alcohol to water. If it was 90% it would be more like the reverse of this. A 1 to 1 and a quarter of rubbing alcohol. Now that's mixed, I'm going to use this funnel here to uh, place the mixture into the spray bottle. I use these for various things, I got these from the Dollar Tree as well, I either label them or color code them because I use them for different things and I would hate for those things to be confused. Another important thing to note is that you do not want to spray this directly on the electronics. You use something that's made of 100% cotton, like these cotton pads right here. But my go-to is I usually just take a t-shirt, old t-shirt, which we all have, and uh, make sure it's 100% cotton. You know, no polyester mix or anything like that, but 100% cotton. and. I cut those up into rags. Spray that directly on your cotton ball or in my case t-shirt and apply it to the electronic. Now another thing to note here is that if it's electronic has a plastic cover you will replace the rubbing alcohol in this mixture with vinegar to avoid that yellowish color to the plastic. So much much better and uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. But go easy on those. I am extremely sensitive. Thanks for watching. Frugal Bougie Mama Productions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.